Aquarius um, I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back this is month of January let's check in and see what is going on all right ladies and gentlemen first we are going to be looking at the Sun sign and the Sun sign people are the people that was born between um, the hours of uh, 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. The moon sign people we're going to be looking at after this, and they were born between the hours of 8 of 7 p.m. and 6 a.m. So if you're a night person, you're a moon sign person. Alrighty. So we're going to be looking at what is coming up for the sun sign. And um ladies and gentlemen, remember um for the extended reading, you can go check out your own sign. For the extended of these reading okay first we do it on the end collective and then you can go check out for yourself my hair is falling <laughs> so let's see what's coming up for the sun sign people so we have um you're in limbo so some of you are coming in this month in limbo and why is that i see um, some of you might not be feeling well or some of you some issues and situation needs to be clear up so I see you coming in this period and this is for the sun sign people so obviously you're trying to find some um, balance some information within and you're going within okay there is no love I see um, the energy of love is in the reverse so um i see a no love coming in i see some of you are worried about your kids okay um this is the energy of the ace of pentacles um this is also in the reverse that is coming up for you guys so it has something to do with your kids and money i see the energy of some of you dealing with your husband or wife or if you're in a long-term relationship it could be also your um your soulmate that is this is happening too okay then we see um the love is not there at this moment whatever is transpiring um i see some issues with uh, marriages coming up wheel of fortune this is a karmatic situation between you and someone you're in a marriage or a long-term relationship with and uh, what i'm seeing is that i see that some of you just not communicating anymore whatever that is transpiring you're just not communicating anymore so what I can see is transpiring and coming up here is that some of you are um, you know just um, closing off yourself and some of you are having some issues with your kids um, and it could be that your kids have some issue with financial situation or your kids have place you in some financial situation that is coming up what I'm seeing is the energy of the lovers where some of you are having issues with your relationship, your your husband or wife. And this is a karmatic thing that is coming back in a circle. As we are looking, some of you are having issues with your sis, your siblings um, and it has to do with money. OK, so there are financial issues between you and your sibling. There are financial issues with people who have kids. If you have kids, it's your kids have brought you in some financial situation and if it is um your um your siblings i see that this is also coming up so what is here and what is transpiring some of you might not be feeling well okay and i see you going to the doctor so some of you might not have been feeling well you're going to the doctor some of you might have to take some time off some of you had uh, some issues some legal issues and um it's not sure how is it going to be turning out and i see you're waiting for answers okay some of you definitely are having some emotional situation to have with kids it's as if you have to pay some extra money or something comes up with a, a child or something comes up where you have to pay out extra money okay um but most of it is that you're emotionally feeling emotionally unbalanced and it has something to do with a child um if this child is a um a scorpion it has to do with a, a scorpion child that has done something that has cost you a lot of money 
now I'm seeing a new start um, is coming in and uh, um, some of you if you're in a relationship with a um, a Gemini I see that maybe you could be having some problems if you're in a relationship with a Gemini I see some of you having some issues um, with your your business or on the work floor um, I see some of you could have had an extended relationship on the work floor with a Gemini and I see this is kind of not working out and you're kind of like oh I'm sorry I really got involved Mm, I see you um, you communicated something with um, I see you um, really you Leo's that is coming up I see issues is coming up some of you Leo's could be having some issues some legal issues that sort of a thing is coming up for you Leo's okay um, I see you legal you you Leo's are not going to be winning a legal issue at all and it's kind of weird Leo's okay um, because some of you Leo's are even having issues uh, hmm. it's there's a lot of karmatic situation is transpiring and because it's a collective reader there is just unbelievable situation that is transpiring. It's, it's because I see some of you are going to be have to be going to the doctor. Um, I see you have to take bed rest. And some of you need to work on your relationship. Whatever that is going on, you need to work on your relationship. Some of you... I see a contract whatever you have some of you are going to be creating a contract maybe you have a business partner that you want to get out of um, a business contract okay so whatever is transpiring there whatever is happening there I see the energy of the Knight of Pentacles and the energy of the Knight of Pentacles is really coming up where um, whatever the issue is that some of you between the age of 18 and 45 is going through I see it's like it's a continual continual issues there is no ending that is coming in in this period maybe the next full moon but it's a continual continual issues I see that some of you are definitely having um, a breakdown could be happening for some of you okay so be aware how this is affecting you because I'm seeing that whatever is transpiring it has to do with your kids and some of you could be finding out something about your kids some of you could have done something that is coming back from the past because it's the wheel of fortune so um some of you could have cheated in the past and now it's going to be coming out and then people are going to be finding out about this i'm seeing no communication um with the energy of love there is no communication that is going on with your partner is as if you have cut off the communication and you're just focusing on your work or whatever you're focusing so I see all of this energy that is definitely coming up and this is going to be balancing um, some of you out some of you um, and um, yeah there is people between the age of 18 and 45 go check out your extended reading because there you will be um, aware of uh, this karmatic situation that is coming in okay you gotta check them out then you find out about this karmatic situation that has been coming in wow so 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 alrighty alrighty let's see what else is coming out so we are going to be looking um, and re remember ladies and gentlemen check out to see what is coming up you can use the link below to check out your own zodiac we're going to be looking at the moon sign people you or the people who were born between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. okay 6 p.m. in the evening and 6 a.m. in the morning so let's see what is coming up for you moon sign uh, fire sign people Okay, what's happening? 
or I see some of you dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Whoever this person is, whatever is transpiring, I see there could be an investigation that is happening. Um, and you're dealing now. I see the conflicts is now over. So hey, hey, you're out of this conflicts, whatever the conflicts was, and whatever that was going on. Um, some of you, you could have had a, a conflict with your partner if your partner is an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Or you Leos are going to be having some um, problem where an investigation is taking place and now it's over and it's not looking good for you Leos okay yeah seven of swords they're going to be finding out that you have done something deceptive you Leos okay so yeah sorry for that let's see what else is coming out i see some news is coming in for you guys and a situation is not really over but i see news is coming in that it's as if they're going to be uh investigating the situation um more and i see some of you if um so if 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 there was a situation where um, some injustice has taken place whether on your part or vice versa I see news is coming in about that so let's say your car was stolen your house was broken in I see you are going to be receiving some news about that okay I see a message is coming in from a Pisces cancer or a scorpion whoever this person is this person is 50 years and older um, this could be your mother for some of you or some of you could be receiving a message from your mom and it, it's about something um whatever is transpiring it's about some unfinished business that has to do with your parents or your mom again a lot of you are dealing with either lawyers or in um, legal issues okay because here it is this um, um aquarian gemini or Libra person it could be your partner and I see a heartbreak that is coming up, um, that that is coming in, and we're going to be looking how this person is going to affect your life. You could be heartbroken from this person. It could have been your partner. It can have been your mom. Whoever this person is, it could be a legal issue that you're heartbroken from. So be aware. So let's see who is this lady. Because is she a lawyer? I see. If she's a lawyer, you're going to be receiving some message from this person that is going to be heartbroken um it could be um this is your mom or this is your partner you're going to be receiving some message from this person that is going to be heartbroken okay i see you're turning your back from this situation and this person and the situation and you're moving forward okay and i see the burdens is going to be over you're turning your back on an issue or a situation and you're moving forward because you realize that if you just leave these deceptive situation and people behind you you are going to be moving forward in a best light what is so good is that you're you know there was something that has transpired and this is coming up as if someone had broken in or stolen something from you your burdens is going to be over because I see you're receiving news and it doesn't have to be your heart is going to be broken from this news it depends but what is definitely going to be transpiring is that you're you're turning your back and 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 you know just leaving certain people and situations some emotional issues that you have been dealing with because i see you know you're saying a hey, i see something much better in the future so bye bye um and i see you're going to be receiving some message you're going to be receiving some message so some of you could be taking your kid and leaving town okay some of you could be taking your kid and leaving town um and realizing you know i can i'm so happy that this has finally come to an end because uh, i can move forward because i see better out there so whatever is transpiring so some of you were dealing with a legal issue, especially you Leos, you're coming up, you're going to be founded that you have done something deceptive. Okay, Leos, so um, uh, it could be you or it could have been done to you deceptively, okay? Um, 
what I'm saying um, is that news is coming in for if your mother is a Pisces cancer scorpion I see you could be receiving news or news about this person that there is some unfinished business between you and this person I see that this person could want to restart something with you so this could be coming in some of you your lawyers or it could be a deceptive person and I really want to see who this person is because I see you're going to be receiving news uh, and the news is uh, um, some of you could be receiving some news from your mom or your partner whatever this news is let me see what is this all about what is your story okay oh okay all right okay all right okay all right so some of you are dealing with a oh some of you are going to be receiving news that a Gemini woman has stabbed you in the back. Bam, 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 bam. So this news is going to be coming in. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah. Some of you could be also receiving news that, um, that a gemini woman who wants to connect with you whoever this gemini woman is she's 50 years and older and she wants to connect with you and some of you could be receiving message from your mom that is um um or you you're not having any connection with your mom because you can't connect with your mom some of you but some of you are going to be definitely receiving message that a gemini woman have stabbed you in the back all right so some of you are going to be receiving message that a gemini woman has stabbed you in your back okay now What is it you're turning your back to? I see you're looking um, to get financial stability. Okay. And you're looking forward. So I see you're going to be creating um, new situations. You're looking forward um, and moving forward because you want to create new situations in your life. And you're going to be looking forward to create new stuff. But I think you're going to be seeing the truth. You Sagittarius are going to be seeing the truth. You Sagittarius are going to be seeing the truth. I think that you are going to be offering love to a Capricorn because you see the truth. You found out what has happened, what has transpired. Because I see um, a Capricorn... I see some of you are dealing with a Capricorn or... Um, and this Capricorn is turning her backs on you and looking forward because she's creating something. And I see you're trying to offer love to this Capricorn person, but this Capricorn person is like, no, thank you. I had learned my lesson. Bye. Okay. And whatever is transpiring, I don't think that sagittarians you will have another chance with this capricorn person whoever this capricorn person was so i see that sagittarians you're very worried because of something that you did to a capricorn and a pisces so if these two people could have been a couple and you sagittarians have done something to a capricorn and a pisces and i see you're trying to say sorry and they're trying to say keep the hell away from me okay so whatever is going on all right communication so that that was an investigation that was going on so i see that you leos are really having some conflicts with others because an investigation went on and they saw that you have done something deceptive i see the ace of pentacles so news is going to be coming in for some of you um that some money is coming in and i see um the flow is going to be flowing i see a new cycle is coming in 
whoever your mother is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn I see some of you are going to be um, receiving help from this person or this person is going to make sure um, yeah so let's say that your your mom is a Pisces cancer or scorpion this person you're, um, she's gonna make sure that you're helped now I'm seeing a, a situation but an issue that is going on and this issue is not yet resolved this issue is not re resolved okay so whatever is happening and transpired this issue is not yet resolved so I see um, complete communication um, some of you have completely communicated with someone I see a new start is coming up I see some worries with some money okay um, there was some deceptiveness that uh, a Pisces cancer scorpion has done but I see a message of an apology is coming into some of you now with the energy of the lovers I see that some of you who are in relationship are going to be making a decision because you found out that you were stabbed in the back and there is some worries and some of you are going to be finding out that you were stabbed in the back by a Gemini so I don't know whoever you are if you're in a relationship with your uh, woman and she's 50 years and older and she's a Gemini you're going to be finding out that you were stabbed in the back by this person or the person um, or it could be your lawyer or a lawyer deceptive person whoever this person is okay let's get in your readings and see what's coming up for the generals remember you can always pick up your um your readings ladies and gentlemen for each and every person so the house the second house the third house the fourth house okay fifth house six house seven house eight house ninth house Ten hours. So Aries, you're in the first house. Aries is in the first house. The fifth house is the Leo. Um, mm, 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 the um, the ninth house is um, the ninth house is the energy of uh, ninth house. Ninth house has to do with the energy. Oopsie daisy. Uh, the energy of the Sagittarian and the 12th house is the Ophiosis. Okay, so let's see what is happening. What is happening in the first house for the fire signs, the fire element signs? All right, in the first house, you have conjunction. Some of you are going to be learning to empower yourself in the first house. So that is the self. So I see you working on yourself. So a lot of you, especially you Aries, are working on yourself. Whatever that has come, that has transpired, I see you. Uh, it's the energy of empowering. So you're working on yourself and you're really looking on yourself to see who you are. For the rest of you, you're just balancing out whatever is transpiring around you. Transition is coming up with your financial um, situation. Whatever is transpiring, some unexpected news is going to be coming up with the financial situation. That is the house of your money, your property, your assets. Okay, so a positive transformation is going to be coming in. Unexpected news is going to be coming in. The third house of your environment, so that is with your work. Um, people around you your work um, where you live your environment your surrounding I am seeing the energy of communication some of you need to really communicate okay the fourth house of family I see some of you are going to be having luck with the family whatever the issue and the situation is I see you're going to be having some luck with the family so luck is coming up with the family then we have the house of fashion and what is in the house of fashion is opposition so I see you're going to be balancing out so you Leo's whatever that has been happening and transpiring I see that you are going to be really balancing out whatever the issue is and the situation I see you're going to be finding balance within yourself and equilibrium within yourself in the six house the six house has to do with your creativity whatever that you're doing I'm seeing you bring in discipline in your work in, in 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 your work but in your creative endeavors but also you're aligning with the right positive energy and this is bringing in 
because you're bringing discipline in your work world okay your work world you're bringing in discipline especially for people who are working for themselves so then in the house of marriage I see an healing so some of you that was is having issues in your marriage I see an healing some of you who um, something um, was um, deceptively if you have deceptively done something I see an healing is going to be coming up in this um, house the seventh house where some deceptive situation that has transpired whether between you and your husband or wife or your partner is going to be ill okay so it could be legal issues also it's, you're, it's not a win it's just going to be ill the eight house of intimacy has to do with uh, um, the scorpions for some of you but um, it is unexpected breakthroughs that is going to be coming out with contracts and that sort of a situation unexpected um, things and this is a house when people work negative energy um, to do something to get their ways and it, it, it can bounce back in a bad way so let's say you work a negative energies to get you out of a situation that you know you're guilty of it's gonna turn in and show up that you're guilty okay so that is that also be aware of north node i see that some of you are going to be um looking for and you're going to be going deeper to find out the meaning of life okay i see some of you whatever you're doing especially if your business your business is going to be extending to overseas i see you're um going to figure out i see you're going to be finding some of you could be relocating this is definitely re relocation some of you are definitely going to be relocating. It's no question. Reputation. Um, the house, the tenth house of reputation has to do with career responsibility and that sort of a thing. I see harmonization is coming in, enriching. So I see some of you, a Capricorn could be helping you in whatever way. But be careful because um, this house of reputation, when it comes to tune in to the flow, some of you have your reputation on um on the edge okay and this is why they're saying tune into the flow because your reputation is on the edge um sex style now you come to the edge with friendship groups and situation and you have to accept what has transpired okay so it's as if you come to the edge to issues and situation that was transpiring and you have to accept what is happening um with these group situation or organization you have to accept what has been happening now the 12 hours of surrender whatever the issues is and the situation is i see some of you are going to be surrendering surrendering to the unseen world surrendering into understanding the meso the metaphysic world because i see this the energy of sex styling and allowing things um to flow so that is when you're going to be going back to connect with your spirit guides um, your angels and guides to understand what exactly is really transpiring and uh, how to deal with these situations so this is the time when people go back to look at past lifetime to find out why is this person in my life why is this these issues and situation taking place so we have the physician the conjunction and the empowerment so I see a lot of you are going to be having some legal issues a lot of you are having legal issues and because of you have found yourself in these legal issues you are looking back on yourself and seeing the what you have done because some of you just thought that oh I could get away with it but now you're realizing that it's not happening and now you have to face up um, to what has transpired in the second house of um, in the second house of your materialistic your wealth your word okay your materialistic world your looks and that sort of a thing is in the second house and some of you are dealing with a Gemini and there is a transformation that is coming up between you and this Gemini so some of you could be getting divorced this Gemini could be someone who is helping you financially this person is going to be um, stopping does it depends on who you are and how you connect with this Gemini in the third house of environment um, you are dealing with a scorpion and you're going to be communicating to this person 
and whoever the scorpion is or whoever this group or situation is because it has to do with whether this is a person at home or on the work floor I see you're going to be um, carefully and really clearly communicating with this person and tell this person how far and how not far some of you an Aquarian um, a family member is going to be helping you an Aquarian who is a family member is definitely going to be helping you out and bringing you some luck unexpected luck that you weren't aware of this family member is really going to jump in help you out and bring you luck now as we look at the house of friendship I see some of you whatever that was going on between you and a Virgo or whatever issues that you were having with your friendship or friendship group is now going to be in balance so you um, Leo's are going to be balancing out the issue between you and a Virgo whatever this issue or situation is I see a balance is going to be coming in between you and a Virgo who is this Virgo is this a friend is this a business situation is this um, a business that you were running that was not yours that sort of a thing will come up Saturn is um, moving out something so I see a Virgo coming in and radically moving an Aquarian whoever this um, an, Aqu an Aries uh, could be an Aquarian also so I see um, in the house of uh, your creativity and your business there could have been an Aquarius that has been accessing your information your business and I see now that the universe is going to be radically but um, Saturn it's there where a Capricorn and a Virgo is going to help you to release an Aries so Aries you're falling in the house of the house of the Virgo so a Virgo could be your boss or someone that or someone in um, in um, power that is going to um, move you out of an organization or institute say okay healing is coming in if you have a relationship with a Pisces or you're married to a Pisces I see a healing coming in if you have a business partner as a Pisces I see here an healing is going to be coming in it is the unseen where um is as if um, if you had an issue with a Pisces that has passed away and Elin is going to be coming in this could be a mother or a father sister or a friend okay so the house of intimacy unexpected event is going to be happening and uh, whatever is transpiring self-confidence um, I see unexpected situation happening in the house of the intimacy so Leos, um, I see in your house of intimacy, some of you could be unexpectedly something is happening now. This is more for the Leos, it is more as in the relationship. So Leos, something unexpectedly in your relationships could be happening, okay. For the rest, there is going to be some unseen situation that is transpiring, but in relationship, unexpectedly, but it's kind of like positive situation that is going to be happening unexpected for you, Leo. So this is really wonderful. Okay. Or it doesn't have to, um, it can affect Leo's, but it can, if you're in a relationship, some of you could be, um, yeah, this is, this is, this is where if you're, <laughs> if you cheat or you're having extramarital affair or you might meet someone and you start seeing someone that kind of situation the north node some of you are going to be a relocating okay some of you are definitely going to be relocating um i see a taurus is going to be helping you to relocate so um you fire sign and Sagittarians you're definitely going to be finding where you where you belong okay whatever is transpiring I see you Sagittarius are really going to be finding out where you belong but I see a transition of relocation um, I see a, a situation with a Taurus that is overseas that some of you could be in a relationship with a Taurus overseas reputation is on the line and um, Sagittarians you have to be um, 
um, tune in to the flow of your reputation Sagittarian whatever is transpiring in the spirit is affecting you it's the next house beside your house Sagittarian your reputation could be on the line Sagittarians okay and if you are trying to um, to deceive a Capricorn your reputation is on the line because you're in the house of a Capricorn and a Capricorn is going to ruin you if you um, continue to um, harass them and um, deceive them and you know their reputation is very important and that is the house of the Capricorn so if you try to ruin a Capricorn reputation they're going to take you down so Sagittarians you're sitting in the house of the Capricorns and whatever that is happening and you decide to ruin a Capricorn reputation back up because you're in their house and they're going to take you down okay out of um, the Aquarians, the sextile ops, um, opportunities is going to be coming up. And I see that some of you, your boss could be helping you out, whatever is transpiring. I see um, some of you, your boss could be helping you out. Whatever the issue and the situation is, I see maybe your boss is going to be stepping in and trying to help you out of whatever is happening. I see sextile opportunity and sextile collaboration and situation accessing explanation providing opportunities. Okay, so hmm. The eleventh house is really and when a Capricorn sit in the eleventh house, um because this is boss and a Capricorn sit in the 11th house and the energy of sex styling opportunities collaboration assistant explaining um if you have done something wrong I don't I, I don't see your boss is going to be helping you out so whoever you are out there uh mm, no you're in the house of the edge and if you have done something wrong, I don't see your boss is going to be helping you out, okay? So whoever that was for. All right, so we in the house of surrender and the semi-sextile allowing. So I see encouragement, seeing the potential in a clarification, gives hope to compassion and intu intuition, feelings of sympathy. So what is transpiring is that some of you if you were having an issue with a with a cancer i see you're moving them out of your life so whatever that was transpiring between you and uh, you and a cancer because this is semi-sex styling and allowing i see you just moving this person this issue and the situation out of your life so whatever that was transpiring this is an karmatic situation that you're really just bringing to an edge and just ending the situation because whatever that was happening and transpiring you took out a cancer you're leaving an issue and a situation behind where you're looking for healing forgiveness of a cancer and just letting it go and that is what is happening forgiveness of a cancer letting it go and that is what is happening so ladies and gentlemen in order to receive your extended reading just use um the um use uh, the link to get to your extended reading i love you guys i'm saying namaste i'm out